coming. Uh, get right to it tonight. We've got a belt. Been waiting to give the belt out for a while. Guys, uh, that blue belt. No gi world champion. Gi silver medalist. Gi bronze medalist. And he did all. No gi pants champion. He did all of this just in his two years. Tore his ACL. So we've been waiting until he could walk to give it. So, Tad Craven. Yeah. Yeah. Was playing, man. I got the first couple were subs. They went quick. I was dominant. I don't think I got swept. I might have got swept in the quarters. I wasn't down at all in any of my matches. I mean, it obviously could have been better. Maybe they can go better, you know, but I could have subbed all six guys. I'm happy. I'm happy with how everything went. Yeah, I've wrestled my whole life. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for I've been with Heath for two years, so I just have done jiu-jitsu for two years. Everything before that was bullshit, in my opinion. Um, I'm from southern Illinois. My hometown is uh, 40 minutes south of Mount Vernon. I grew up my whole life not even knowing, knowing that Heath existed, you know, so that's kind of crazy. I wish I would have known about this when I was 16. But, uh, yeah, I wrestled my whole life. Uh, I did one year at Lindenwood Belleville. School just wasn't for me. So I went and did my own thing. I moved away. That's when I started doing jiu-jitsu. I've known Marshall for 10 or 12 years and he's the one that brought me to PSF. Whenever I moved away, he had just moved into the gym. I actually remember him calling me, and uh, he was sitting out in his car with his dog. He was just telling me about the gym, man. I, I remember where I was, what I was doing. And uh, I don't know, fast forward a year later, I'm in the gym with him, you know? It's pretty cool. This is better than wrestling. This, this is like college wrestling, but without the bullshit. You know what I mean? Without, uh, I mean, I guess we kind of answered Heath a little, you know I mean? He's our coach, but he's more of a friend to us. So uh, we don't have to make it to classes and deal with just all the bullshit, you know? We actually get to live our lives and just improve ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, most of us are wrestlers and just the way that Heath coaches us, it's kind of for wrestlers. It's just uh, offense, offense, offense. Don't give them a chance to work their offense, you know? They say the best defense is a good offense. So that's kind of the philosophy with Heath. Tell me what it's like when you're there, getting your hand raised in the finals, and you got the team cheering you on. That must feel pretty good. Yeah, it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, I've uh, I've won tournaments for Heath, but this is the biggest one for sure. You know, so it, it meant a lot more. Kind of had to hold it together for a minute, but it's awesome. You know, I'm not gonna get old, or uh, I'll never get used to that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, guys, thanks for coming. We just want to wait till his knee was better. Like I said, it's overdue. But uh, and uh, little Jake up here to the middle. Is this your belt? Yeah, sure. Why you take the belt? How many stripes you got on it? Did you steal this from Sean? Maybe. <laughs> How many stripes you got? I think none. All right, Jacob is a uh, two-time. He's actually three-time no-gi pants champion because they had the ones right back-to-back. -back. Just got finished with his uh, first year wrestling in college. He never wrestled in high school. He walked onto the college wrestling team thanks to the guys up here teaching him how to do some wrestling. So we'll send him on to the next level tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Back though now. Back. Now you gotta pay your thirty bucks again to IBJJF. Fuck. <laughs> Not one eighty. 
We're gonna go out there talking. A lot of people like to close out the vision with their teammates, but listen, we're gonna roll hard as fuck like we do every single day in the gym. Every single day, it's nothing new. We're only here for fucking the day. We're gonna try to get as many rolls in this fucking comp as we can. Okay. Teammate, non teammate, it don't fucking matter. Yeah. So, status update. So, all our adults, uh, normal visions, are def they're finished. Uh, little Jacob, Gold, him and Ted fought in the finals. They both got to the finals, gold and silver. Uh, no closeouts with us. They have the match. We have them do the match. I don't want them later on feeling like, you know, maybe they shouldn't have done it. So I think the best guy should win. So even though we're from the same team and they sleep in the same house, we had them uh, fight it out. I, I want to mention like Tad and and little Jacob uh, 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 fighting for the finals. And that's just such a huge, huge deal. And uh, uh, with, with both of these guys in the semis, they, they, they have a chance to uh, compete for the first and the second place. And that's just, it's just such a huge deal, man, to, to even medal out of open, how long a team, uh, a team win first and second place in a major open like that. So it's a it, it's a huge, huge deal for us. It's the first time for us, and uh, man, we're really excited. The guys, just like uh, Tad and Little Jacob, they'll, they'll have the match. We don't do any closeouts at our gym. Something that's happened with closeouts kind of in our sport, it's kind of fucked shit up when you got two guys from uh, one team. Now they're, they're putting them on both sides of the brackets because a lot of these gyms won't actually have a fight and uh, see who's the best. You know, they they, they, they use it to kind of cruise through. But at, at our gym, we, uh, we, we we fight for the medal, man. Can you imagine Tom and Terry Brands um, uh, closing out the division together? That's what I used to always think to myself. So it's imperative that the guys have the match and, and, and see who whoever whoever deserves to have the first place should have the first place. There shouldn't be any gifts, and uh, you should care more about your teammates and yourself than that. I think it's important to, to, to hammer the match out and uh, make sure that the person that deserves it has it. So hopefully we can get these guys in the finals and they can have the match. It'll be a first time for us and a really major, major, uh, major thing in our teams, you know, our, our team history. So we're super excited. The New York one. There you go, buddy. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Two guys leveling up, sitting on the purple belts are getting really tough. Good, good crew. This is the some of the blue belt crew we dominated with. Won the Nookie Pans. Uh, they're kind of moving up now, so excited for them. Two's my max though today, so let's get the get the hands in the middle, okay? Oh, I got just said let me get to the middle. Blue Man, fuck you, Rondo. Purple! Thank you. Thank you, homie. Appreciate it. You don't want to see followed by Tad Manny and Devil. Inter 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Rob, <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. You deserve it. Yes, sir. You did that shit. Boy, you got it. You got that shit, man. Now you got to win purple. Look at you. Everyone's so proud of you. Yeah. That on purple now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool.